Hey everybody, how are you doing today? Today we're gonna go over Photoshop CS6 and we're gonna start going over adjustment layers. And uh, from this tutorial on, we're gonna start getting into like some of the really cool stuff in Photoshop. Uh, the tu tutorials before this were more about how to use the program and how to um, basically get familiar with like some of the components of the program that are necessary to working efficiently in Photoshop. Now we're going to start getting into some of like the tools and adjustment layers and the stuff that you can use to start making your photos or your design or your document look uh, pretty nice. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go over what adjustment layers are and how they're cool in a in a like a little like I don't know lecture I guess. So the purpose of an adjustment layer is to show how a specific adjustment changes the appearance of an image. So you can apply something like hue and saturation or something like that to an image and it will adjust how that layer looks. Um, adjustment layers, they can be saved with the document. So once you close the document um, and you return back to it, the uh, um, the adjustment layers are still there and you can make further changes to those adjustments. So another adju uh, another advantage of using adjustment layers is um, dealing with like the size of the Photoshop file. So adjustment layers do not increase the size of a Photoshop document at all which is awesome. So since adjustment layers are pretty much just a set of mathematical data they don't increase the size of the file at all. So that's really nice and keep that in mind when you're applying different things. So you can apply adjustment layers instead of something else that might take up more um, file size and make your project bog down. So there are a, a few ways um, that you can apply adjustments. You could uh, go into the image menu here and then we can go to adjustments and uh, use some of these. However, these here, these adjustments here are permanent and they're not, they don't create an adjustment layer. Now, the other way that you can do it is by adding an actual adjustment layer. So if I come um, over to our layers panel over here, right above it, you can see that there is adjustments here. So we can add an adjustment for brightness or contrast. You can add an adjustment for levels, um, vibrance, and all sorts of those things. So let me just click on one of them. I'll click on brightness and contrast. And what the adjustment layer does is it affects the layers below it. Now I can increase the brightness or lower it or whatever I want to do. Same with like any other adjustment layer that I use. Now you can see the adjustment layer is here and the adjustment layer comes with its own mask and that that's what this um, part here means so you can define where the adjustment layer is being used one good thing about using adjustments layers from here is that they don't um, they don't affect I mean they don't alter the original image so it's going to be a non-destructive uh, process and what that means is if you start changing around the original image here like if we put um, some things on the background without them being on a separate layer that's going to be altering the original original image and that's going to be called destructive editing and a non-destructive is when you start using layers that don't um, affect that don't alter the original image so let's go ahead and create a another um, adjustment layer now you remember that we can create the adjustment layers from this area here and all you gotta do is roll your mouse over and it'll tell you what the adjustment picture means. You can come up here to layer and then come down to new adjustment layer and add these in. Um, you can also add in uh, fill layers which are pretty much the same thing as adjustments. And you can also add adjustment layers down here at this button with the, it's like a half circle, half white, half uh, transparent. Click on that and then you can also add more adjustment layers there. Um, so that's how you do that. Now if you add your adjustment layer and you need to modify it later, 
all you need to do is have this properties uh, tab open and it'll bring up this uh, adjustment layer sliders and whatever else is um, within the adjustment layer for you to edit if that's not there just double click on the icon here and you'll be able to adjust the uh, different the adjustment layer after now I'll go over more in depth what uh, some of these other things mean and I'll go over some of the adjustment layers with you in a later tutorial when we have some more time so I'm just gonna end here so we learned what adjustment layers are why they're good and um, how to add adjustment layers and how to modify them so remember that uh, all those steps and use them to your advantage in your next projects. So we'll be going over more stuff about adjustment layers in the next few tutorials. So keep on watching if you want to learn. So see you guys later in the next tutorials and I'm looking forward to hearing you guys' input and stuff. See you guys later.